Hello friends, welcome to Shiva Academy. This video series is mainly to address the questions and the comments that I am receiving through mail or in the comment section. As a continuation of that, here is a question that is based on the previous video in this video series. So the question is, can we generate the identity column value as like SQL Server in Oracle database? In fact, this question was based on the previous related content that is, does the truncate table reset the identity column value? So before getting into this question, let me just quickly show you a scenario so that we'll understand this question better. Just to give you a quick introduction about what is an identity column. Identity column basically gives an auto increment feature so that we don't have to explicitly insert a value for that column. Instead, whenever we insert a value for the rest of the columns, Oracle will automatically provide a value to the identity column. Okay, with this, now let us see a simple scenario so that we'll be able to understand the question better. Now we are going to see a very simple and straightforward scenario in two different databases. First, we are going to create a table with two columns, a column called ID, which is an identity column and a name column. Then we are just going to populate few values into the name column. Since ID is an identity column, database will automatically provide the value, a sequence value. Then we are going to truncate this table. Obviously, when we truncate the table, the content of the table will be removed. And then we are going to populate few more values into the table. So now the question is, will the identity column will start from the very last value or will it restart from the very first value? So the behavior is different. That is in SQL Server, it will restart from one, whereas in Oracle database, it will start with the very last value plus one. That is in this scenario, in Oracle, it will start with four. Whereas in SQL Server, it will start with one. First, let us see this scenario. Then we'll go back to our question. Okay, now we are going to try the same scenario in SQL Server and in Oracle. In left side of the window, I have connected to Oracle database and in right side of the window, I have connected to SQL Server. First, let us try this scenario in SQL Server. So first I'm dropping the table since I have already executed. So now we are going to create a table called T with two column that is one is ID and a name column. Okay, now we are just going to populate three values into the name column. So I'm populating three values called Ravi, Jeevan and Raghu. Now let us try to query from the table T. Now if you see, we actually populated the column name only. The value for this ID column is automatically provided by the database because it is an identity column. Fine. Next, what we are going to do, we're just going to truncate this table. I'm truncating the table. Obviously, the content of the table would, go, would have got removed. Let me query from the table. Yes, there is no rows in this table. Now, let us try to insert two more values into this table, Scott and James. Now, let us query from the table. Now, if you see in SQL Server, if we truncate and repopulate the values, then the identity column will start from one instead of starting from what it will start from one fine now let us retry the same example in oracle database so now i have connected to oracle database let me just first drop the table table is dropped i'm creating a same table t with two column id as an identity column and name as a varchar field now i'm going to populate three values into this table that is ravi jeevan and ragu as expected, all the three values got inserted. Now let me query from the table. Now if you see, uh, since the uh, since we inserted the name value, the ID column is automatically populated. That is 1, 2 and 3. Now let us truncate the table. Table is truncated. Now let me query from the table. Obviously there is no information in the table because all the informations are truncated. Now I am inserting two more values into the table, Scott and James. Now, if you select from the table, you can see the ID column starts from four, whereas the same behavior in SQL Server, it restarts from one. Okay. Now let us go back to the question. Now, if you see here, the question is, can we generate the identity column value as like SQL Server in Oracle database? That is after truncating in Oracle database, when we repopulate the table, can we restart the ID column also from one like that? Yes, it is possible. The default behavior is it will start from the very last value plus one. However, after truncating the table, you can alter the table to start the sequence from 
1 again. So now let me re-truncate the table again. Now the table is truncated. Now what we need to do is we need to alter this table. Alter table T. Modify column ID. Generated as identity. Let me put the modify here. Generated as identity. Now we need to explicitly say the start value. Start with 1. Let me execute it now. Modify ID. Yeah. So alter table T. Modify column name. Generate as identity. Start with 1. So you can give any value here. So right now I am just giving start with 1. Now the table is alter. Now let us repopulate this table t with two more values that is scott and james now let us try to query from the table now you can see the identity column restarted from one very similar to the sql server behavior if you want any questions to be answered you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id but before that you can check whether a similar question has already been posted as part of the subscriber question series or as part of the interview question series if you're not able to find your question here please write back to me I'll be happy to record and post as a new video. If you have learned something new, please like this video. Subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video, interview question, SQL practical question and concept videos. And thanks a lot for watching this video.